Many people have disappeared in U.S. history, but no mysterious disappearance is as famous as Charlie Ross kidnapping. Welcome to our channel, and today we'll be taking a look at Charlie Ross' intriguing abduction. How did it happen? Who did it? Stay until the end to find out all about it. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on for more great videos like today. Without further ado, let's begin. Charles Brewster Ross, also known as Little Charlie, was born on May 4, 1870. Only four years had passed after his birth, and the little boy was kidnapped for reasons unknown. Even today, no one's sure of what happened to him, but they do have a few clues. And of course, there's never a shortage of conspiracy theories. On July 1, 1874, Charlie and his older brother Walter Lewis were playing in the front yard of their family's home in Germantown. Kids in most societies of the world are told never to accept candy from strangers. That doesn't have to be taken literally though, as it generally means to not approach strangers when their parents aren't around. While the two boys were playing, a horse-drawn carriage showed up in front of them. Two unidentified men offered Walter and Charlie with candy and fireworks, if only they would ride with them. In the creepiest way possible, the boys innocently agreed to get on with the men and were taken to another area of Philadelphia a store where Walter was told to buy fireworks inside with 25 cents given to him by the mysterious men. He did so, but when he got out of the store, the carriage had already left. Things didn't stop there. Christian Ross, who was the little boy's father, received ransom demands from the kidnappers a few days ago. These arrived as notes sent from post offices in Philadelphia and written in the weirdest way possible, although indicating that it wasn't a royal prince writing the letters. They were in a semi-literate writing style with plenty of misspellings, requesting a ransom of $20,000, warned against police intervention, and threatened to kill little Charlie if Christian didn't pay. The kidnappers thought that the Ross were very rich, but in truth Christian Ross was only a small business owner who was heavily in debt due to the stock market crash of 1873. Without any way to pay the requested ransom, Christian Ross sought the police as his second option. The kidnapping made headlines all across the United States, and some friends of the Ross hired the Pinkerton Detective Agency, who had millions of flyers and posters printed with Ross' face. They even attempted to give the kidnappers the ransom money requested by the notes, but the kidnappers failed to appear every time and communications stopped. Five months after this terrifying abduction, two career criminals, William Mosher and Joseph Douglas, invaded the home of Judge Charles Van Brunt in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, on that night. Van Brunt's brother, Holmes, lived next door and spotted the robbery in progress. With a group of men, he marched into his brother's home, armed with guns, and both were gunned down, with Mosher being killed almost instantly and Douglas laying down mortally wounded. Then, a dying Douglas admitted to kidnapping Charlie Ross. He either claimed that the boy was dead or that he was alive, but only Mosher knew of his whereabouts. Douglas died shortly thereafter. Walter Ross was taken to New York to inspect the dead men, and he did identify both as the kidnappers in the carriage. Christian Ross spent around $60,000 of his money, much more than a million dollars today, searching for Charlie until he died himself. Many men came forward claiming to be Charlie, although with the release of DNA tests, all of them were disproved. Even more baffling is how the court even claimed a man known as Gustave Blair to be Charlie Ross against his own supposed family's claim which was also shot down a few years afterward. Though Charlie was never found, his tragic disappearance is what caused the warning, don't take candy from strangers, to become a thing. What would have happened to him? And what did Mosher and Douglas do to him? It's all very confusing, but nonetheless, it's a tragic story to learn. So, what's your opinion on Charlie Ross' disappearance? Are you shocked to learn what happened to this poor child? Let us know in the comments. Also, make sure to leave us a like Share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on for more great videos like today. We hope you enjoyed our video and we'll see you next time.